Hello everyone, welcome back to my Life Station and Base Construction efforts in Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. We are here with our space plane which is quite stricken. It is missing two pieces of landing gear, it only has one piece of main gear left. And it needs to rendezvous with our refueler that can then get the fuel that needs to go back home. But we'll probably have to have it splash down and that's going to be risky of course. But probably not as risky as runway landing as it is. So, uh, we have the refueler around here somewhere. Uh, when I say it has to rendezvous with the refueler, it's more like the refueler has to rendezvous with it. So, let's just not destroy it. Um, I guess combined is the right one. It's the only thing that looks like a refueler to me, so let me control that. And yes, here it is. So, well, we might as well control from here right now. And get it over there. Okay, so first we're just lifting our orbit up and then we'll correct the inclination a bit. Okay, just another touch up here. Okay, we're, we're in theory really close to it. There it is. No, this is not it. Ah, we're at the station. Where's my plane? Oh, there it is. Gosh darn it. It's just in a really close... Where is it? I can't actually see its orbit line. Uh-oh. Um, let me go back to it. You have an orbit. It doesn't have an orbit line! It It's in, it's in that weird landed thing? Yes, it's in the weird land. Okay, hold on. Uh, fine, save and exit. Oh no, it's got the same buggy thing. I think. Okay. Why, why does every space plane that comes off of the surface of Lathe have to have a bug? Okay, so we, there is a problem with the game sometimes that it doesn't realize the thing is in orbit and still has it marked as landed. So now... I have to remember where the heck the save files are. Alright, autosave 3 is what I'm working on. Maybe I should have a real full save, but let me just find landed and maybe that's the best way to go. I don't know what to search for. No, okay, Leif Planter Launch-23. Yes, that's this thing. Now, what's it supposed to say? Situation. Let me find that. Orbiting. There we go. That's what we want. We can set as target. I don't see an orbit line. Well, maybe it'll get an orbit line. It's going faster and faster. <laughs> but its periapsis is negative. Come on. It's going straight down. Okay, maybe I did something wrong there then. Maybe I'll get a, the save. I guess we'll have to do the rendezvous again. Why does KSB2 have to do this? Um, it's orbiting, right? That's what it's supposed to be? Okay, well, okay, it seems to be in orbit now. But we have to do the whole rendezvous again, so I've just wasted a bunch of time. Uh, okay, uh, does it have an orbit line? Yes, now it has an orbit line. Gosh, game. Well, we're gonna have to slow down ahead of that to be able to make that. Okay, we'll try this. Let's see if it's telling the truth or not.
Can we see it yet? Okay, there it is. Okay, come back. Oh, actually, we should be on this side. Okay, we are approaching. Finally. Okay, hopefully there'll be daylight by the time we get to it. The prograde vector wiggling all over the place when we turn is not helpful. Still. Okay, maybe we can have this at least turn around so that's helping us out here. Oh, we've got all the RCS ports doing the rotation as well. That's probably not a good thing. Okay, okay, you guys need to stop doing rotation. Okay. Okay, so... Spiritron... To... Well, there's those tanks in the back, but we've lost one. And there's the tank in the front. Let's just top it all off and hope for the best. Uh, maybe the one opposite the one that we lost would be a bad idea, though. Okay. But it still included that one. Okay. Okay, well, hopefully that's right. Okay, I think refueling is done. Okay, we do have no, like, power... ...regeneration. So that's important. Except for running the engines. But, is it time to come back home yet? Kerbin has to be behind Jewel by 48 degrees, so we have to wait a while. Let's get the refueler into, uh... Well, let's get the refueler to the station while we're here. Um... What just happened? What, what, why, why did it just go to thunk? We're far away from the... That's the plane, isn't it? Okay, hold on. That the thunk worries me. Also, the fact that it's now con uh, combined 35. Okay, we are called combined 34. That's called combined 35. You're still okay, right? All right. Sheesh. Oh, well, I guess that's close enough. And we're not in the atmosphere after that burn. Good. Always well, important to check. Double check that. Oh, actually, we want to control from there, so let's wait on that. We really need to be in daylight for me to see where to put this. No, or maybe not. Oh, that, that round one's opposite something already. There's a docking port here, and there's a docking port there. Uh oh, there's still a thruster doing rotation. No. You're just gonna confuse things. No! No! Stop trying to do rotation. I think I'll just put the solar panels in line with the other one. Of course, they're, the engines are all firing at each other. Let's deactivate these before we dock. Uh-oh. Uh... Okay... 
probably good enough. No, come on. And don't wiggle. No, come on. Translate. Translate. Translate, damn you. Oh, fudge. Oh, okay. It's fine now. <laughs> Whatever happened. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, okay. Anyway, it's on the station. And now it looks like this. Now we're going to go to the tracking station and wait a while. I guess we can't actually focus on Kerbal. Okay. Nope. Apparently not. It says focus, but we can't focus on it. So we just have to wait until Kerbin catches up. Hoping none of that business is important. Eyeballing it. That should be about right. Okay, back to the vessel. Okay. Okay, so Jewel's going that away. We want to go this way. And so Leif has to be over here. Let's wait a bit. Uh oh. Um, we're taking electric charge. Uh, SAS is off. We've got a Kerbal. Let's just make sure um, you. Um, let's let's have no control from you, please. We have a Kerbal. Stop. Okay, probably at the next orbit. It's good enough. Let's see, create a maneuver. Go out of Leith. No, well, it's pretty close right there. Now, if only I could tweak the maneuver <laughs> slightly instead of a lot. Uh, okay. About five million kilometers so far. That's further away. Okay, other way, other way. Okay, wait, but that should be... Wait, no, I'm thinking about Earth. <laughs> anyway, that should be encounter, right? There, there we go. That's an encounter. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. 999. But it's not going to end up that way. Because it never ends up that way. But we have 4,726. So it'll be okay in the end. Ooh, uh, well, at least we're going to recharge by using the engine. But the reaction wheel takes a lot. Okay, go. It, see, I mean, wiggles all over the place too, so that's a problem. It always wants to wiggle in one direction. Maybe I'll try and roll to even that out, but... Okay, well, that says directed. We did a little bit too much. Well, let's do a little correction here. Okay, well, we'll take whatever that is. Hopefully, did that get us an uh, encounter with Kerbin? And we've got enough fuel to to capture manually for sure. Okay, well that's a good periapsis if we can get it. Alright, so we are departing Leith. And boy has it been a trip. And we are departing Jewel. Well, not enough resources is pretty darn persistent. Uh, it's probably close enough for us as we... Once we get in there, we can... No, oh, wait, that's not great. Uh, okay. It's tough. Let's use RCS. Uh, 
Okay, well, we're actually a little bit deeper into Kerbin than I would like. It's just easier for me to remember how to approach the KSC when going prograde, so... We're flipping around. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we're going to capture... into a nice low orbit all the way down all the way down no nope, that seems circular enough to me if that is right okay so that's what we're gonna do and then we're gonna have about 800 left which is plenty plenty I say go And we have captured around Kerbin. Okay, maybe we'll just go around to get this a little bit more circular. We've captured and we're fairly low. We just want another burn. Uh, the KSC, I guess that's that conglomeration right there, is in the dark anyway. So we would be waiting. Okay, well, I'll boost up. I want to be a little bit more circular than that to plan things out. Uh, might as well not do that. Okay. So, yep. Or maybe that's a good periapsis location? Hmm. Yeah, maybe I won't boost up and I'll assume that that's a good place for our periapsis to be. I'll wait one more orbit and then try to come down. Uh, okay, yeah, well, let's try and bring the periapsis down and see what happens. I'm gonna try 20. Okay, we are about to encounter the atmosphere. Well, I think it's coming in... A little bit fast, so I'll pitch down if I can, if I've got the power here. We do have some jet engine thrust, which I'm not sure we'll be able to use, and some hydrogen. We have a glow. Glow is happening. But even though I'm trying to get close to the KSC, we must remember I cannot land. I only have one wheel. And the game almost certainly will try to wreck me. So, water it will be. Leif is not kind to landing gear for reasons... or Kerbal reasons. Apparently they don't believe that planes can land on rough fields, even though that's how they did it for much of aviation history. So, go figure. They believe that all planes must be only able to land on runways. Okay, now we're going too long. I think we should try going down. I can't pull up much. We need thicker atmosphere to slow down, but we also don't want to heat up too much. I don't know if it's safe to try and... Uh, maybe it's not safe to try and turn. This probably can't do S turns. Hmm. We may want to just run the jets so that we have reaction wheel power. Uh, not that. But this is probably wrong. Are you activated or deactivated? I can't even tell anymore. Oh, well, that's the main engine. That, well, that'll give us some charge, but not very efficiently. I would like these engines to actually be able to activate properly. Okay, I think... Those are active. We're going really fast in decent atmosphere. They shouldn't be. Let me. Let's try it. F5, F9. It doesn't even want to do it. Maybe because I'm still thrusting. F5. 
To be honest, it's given up on trying to let me quick save and quick load. I pressed F5 and F9, it doesn't want to do it. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's ignoring me as far as that's concerned. After I turn around, I'll try and make a save properly and load. Okay, uh, uh, let me just switch off the engine first. Save. Okay, no, no, not you. There we go. I guess I should be heading for south, actually. Oops. Okay, then we need to use more of this. Alright, well that's the end of that. Does Chase... No, Chase... Why, why does Chase reorient the camera every time I try to use it, anyway? I guess we're just stuck using auto. I try and rotate and then it changes the camera on me. We're just trying to get this to splash down close to the docks there. We are on the water. Oh no, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't lose intake air. It's really better as a seaplane. Guess there's a purpose for these docks after all. Maybe I should just make seaplanes and always launch it from these. We could, we could do that, right? Uh oh. Turn! 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 <laughs> uh oh, I think without the jet gimbling, it can't turn very well. Uh oh, we don't like have a rudder in the water. Uh oh. Oh! Okay, this might be the closest we can get. Well, we'll just drift and boing to the other side. So, okay, let's recover vessel. All right, so Jedred came back home, all safe. We didn't have to try to land twice or anything. Back to the KSC. Okay, so I do have a question. Can we launch that plane in the water? Now, we had trouble pulling up off the water at Laith, so it might be a problem, especially since this is going to be fully loaded. But boat launch. Let's see. I've never tried the boat launch before. Ooh, ooh, ah. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, see now, we're not getting fast enough here with the jets. How about an afterburning mode? I thought it's going to help. It's going slower with afterburners. And I think it's the wings and the body, but yeah, it's going slower with the afterburners. Okay, if we want to get out of the water, we need to use this engine. We're not going fast enough to take off like this. We managed it on lathe, but we're heavier loaded. Yeah, we could maybe design it better so that I can do it, but right now I don't think it's having a good time. Okay, alright, alright, uh, revert. <laughs> 